If your sub keeps pouring without any input from you, please try the following solutions. Check the tap handle mechanism opens and closes correctly and that the nozzle is in the closed position like so. While doing this, take note of any damage on the nozzle and ensure that it fits correctly to the handle mechanism. If your keg is not pressurizing, there are several things you can try. Check the bottom of the keg for no damage to the inlet valve. Ensure the device's compressor is running properly, which you can check by listening out for an audible noise similar to a computer fan. If you can hear it, the issue most likely lies with the keg itself. Remove the keg and reinsert it at a different rotation. If this process does not help, contact our customer care team. If you are experiencing too much foam with your pints, here are some tips and tricks to ensure your pints are perfect for you to enjoy. Make sure to handle your kegs carefully at all points of the installation process, as any unnecessary movement can cause more foam to build up inside the keg. Let the keg settle for about 20 minutes inside the sub before pouring to minimise the amount of foam. Ensure there is no damage to the nozzle or kinks within it so that the beer can pass through easily. When pouring, the glass should be completely free of washing up liquid and at a 45 degree angle without the nozzle touching the glass. If you still aren't getting the perfect pint, let us know. If your tap handle is not functioning as expected, remove the keg currently in the machine and the tap handle itself. Clean the internal mechanism gently with warm water while inspecting it to see there is no debris that would prevent the mechanism from working. Reinsert the keg and ensure that the nozzle is seated correctly. Now test your handiwork by pulling gently on the tap handle to see if it will now pour. 